Hi, my name is Sam and I'm the Grand Prospirator of Corporate Learning. So recently I've had a number of folks come and ask me about how to write a good resume. I think first and foremost it's important to realize that the sole purpose of a resume is to get your foot in the door so that you can present yourself in person as the prime candidate for the job. Second, it's important to realize that uh, the resume is really an abbreviated story of your experiences. Notice the word abbreviated. It needs to be abbreviated, meaning that it's not all of your work experience, it's selections or highlights. Third, building off of point number two, if it's to be an abbreviated story of your experience, as a story, it needs to have a good narrative. What makes a good narrative? A good narrative is one that appeals to the audience that you're writing to. It also has specifics that show um, how you got to where you are. And third, it sells you as somebody that's unique. People want to um, know you as a person and how you're different. So first of all, how do you actually understand the audience? Um, well, part of understanding the audience is actually having done your homework up front, meaning that you've read the job description, you've done all the research on the company. It's actually really important because today the resume usually goes through first a filter on, through systems. You usually upload your resume and there's typically uh, word crawlers that look up for specific keywords. How do you know what the keywords that you want to put into your resume? You know this by looking at the job description and aligning a lot of what they're looking for as words inside your resume. Second, in terms of specifics, people really want to know what specifically that you've done or what specifically was your role or what specifically was the scope of your um, accountability. And this typically comes with um, the ability to articulate what was the budget that you were accountable for. What was the span of control? How many people did you manage? What was the full scope of the role that you played? So these are some of the specifics that people want to know. And finally, your story needs to make sense. So how these specifics build up and make sense for the general person is people want to be able to see that there's a logical progression to your work experience. And even if this isn't fully the case, um, people like to hear stories framed up that way. So as you're writing your resume, you want to be able to frame your work experience around um, how you've progressed either in uh, your accountability as you've actually shown results. People want to see that you're um, expanding your capabilities by taking on different responsibilities um, and that through each successive experience you've built unique skills. Um, and I think generally speaking, people want to be able to understand the transition points between one job to the next um, and that there is some sort of a logical order to that. Um, so that's actually my two cents for how to write a good resume.